Arjuna said, O infallible one, please draw my chariot between the two armies, so that I may see who is present here, who is desirous of fighting, and with whom I must contend in this great battle attempt. Shenaya ruhair madde ratam sthapayo me achyuta. Before this, Krishna was oh, addressed as Rishi Kesha. Rishi Kesha, we have explained. Now, Krishna is addressed here of oh, Chuta. Chuta means fallen. And Achyuta oh, means not fallen. Just like we are fallen, we are fallen conditioned souls. In this material world, we have come with a enjoying spirit, therefore we are fallen. If one keeps his position rightly, he does not fall. Otherwise, he is degraded. That is fallen condition. So, all the living entities with the, within this material world, beginning from Brahma down to this small insignificant ant, they are all fallen. Fallen conditioned souls. Uh, why they are fallen? Krishna Bhuliyaji Bhogavan Chakare Pasite Mayatare Japutiya Dhare. Fallen means when the living entities are under the clutches of this material energy. That is called fallen. Uh, just like a man. When he is under police custody, it is to be understood that he is a criminal. He is fallen. Uh, he has fallen down from good citizenship. Similarly, we are all parts and parcels of Krishna. Jiva Bhuta. So, as part and parcel, our position is to live with Krishna. Uh, just like this is my finger, part and parcel of my body, the finger must remain attached with this body. When this finger is cut off and fallen, although it is finger, it is no longer as important as it was formerly when it was attached with this body. So anyone who is uh, not attached with the service of the Supreme Lord, he is fallen. Uh, this is the conclusion. But Krishna is not fallen. If Krishna, because he comes to reclaim us, yada yada hi dharma sagrani bhavati bharata, abhuttanam adharmas tadatmanam sijami aham. Krishna said that I appear when there is discrepancies in the uh, I mean to say, occupational duties of the living entities. Dharma sagrani bhavati. We don't translate dharma as religion. Religion in the English dictionary, it is a kind of faith. Faith can be changed, 
But dharma is a word which cannot be changed. Uh, if it is changed, it is to be understood artificial. Just uh, say the water. Water is liquid, everyone knows. Uh, but sometimes water becomes hard, very hard. Ice. Uh, that is not the natural. Uh, position of water artificially on account of excessive cold or by artificial means the water becomes solid. But the real position of water is liquidity. So when we are uh, detached from the service of the Lord, this is also unnatural. Unnatural. Natural position is that we must be engaged in the service of the law. That is our natural position. Uh, <coughs> Therefore, the Vaishnava Kavi says that Krishna Bhulya Jeev Bhagavan Chakar. When a living entity uh, forgets Krishna, forgets Krishna's position, Krishna's position, Krishna says, Bhoktaram Jagadabhasam Sarvalvuka Maheshwaram I am the proprietor, I am the enjoyer. Uh, this is the Krishna's position. He never falls down that position. Krishna is enjoyer. He keeps always that position. He never falls down. He never comes to the position of being enjoyed. That is not possible. If you want to bring Krishna on the position of being enjoyed, then you are defeated. Being enjoyed means uh, keeping Krishna in front. I want to get some profit of sense gratification. Uh, that is uh, our unnatural position. Krishna will never agree. Uh, Krishna will never agree. Krishna cannot be enjoyed. He is always enjoyed. He is always the proprietor. So Krishna Bhulya Ji means when we forget this position of Krishna, that He is the supreme enjoyer, He is the supreme proprietor. Uh, this is called forgetfulness. As soon as I think that I am enjoyer, I am proprietor. This is my fallen stage. Krishna bhulya jeev bhogavan chakare. When we, they are japotiya dhare, maya, immediately maya captures. Therefore, a conditioned soul, fallen conditioned soul, is struggling for existence. He is trying to be enjoyer. He is trying to be proprietor. That is his artificial way of life. Uh, just like if a woman wants to become a man, that is her artificial position. She may dress herself as a man, just like in the Western countries sometimes we see uh, woman is artificially dressing like man, with hat coat man, riding on horse. Uh, that, that is artificial. Uh, so similarly, our position here in this material world is artificial. Uh, we are trying to imitate a man. Uh, Actually, the living entities are described in the Bhagavad-gītā, prakīti. 
Prakriti means woman and Purush means man. So the living entities are never described as Purusha. Purusha is Krishna. Purusha Sasata. When Arjun said, Parabrahma Param Dhamma Pavitam Paramam Bhavan Purusham Sasatam Adyam. Uh, Purusham Sasatam. Krishna is always Purusha. Uh, God cannot be female. God is always male, Purusha. And we are Prakriti. That is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Aparayam itasthu vidhimi prakitiṁ para. After describing the material energy, bhumi, rāpa, nalo, vāyu, earth, water, air, fire, this material, this is also female, prakriti. Uh, female means we have got, in India, we have got little experience, the female is always controlled. Female is never given the position of controller. Nowadays it is going on. Uh, just like Indira Gandhi, he has given the position of controller. This is artificial. In the history of India, Greater India, Mahabharata, you never find that a woman has been given the position of controller. No. It is not possible. Uh, we have to take things from the Shastra. In the Bhagavad Gita also, woman's position has been uh, equated with Sudra. Sriya Sudra Tatha Vaishya Sthipi Janti Parangati. So, position must be asserted. But this position is artificial. Here, either woman or man, they are in artificial position. Because a woman may be uh, in woman's dress. But her mind is like man. Uh, she also wants to enjoy. And the others, the so-called man, the so-called man is also not man, she is woman. Uh, prakriti. Aparayam itastu vidhi me prakriti para. Prakriti. As the earth, water, air, fire, sky, they are also controlled. The supreme controller is Krishna. Similarly, the so-called man or woman in this material, they are also controlled. Nobody can say that I am not controlled. Who is here? He must be controlled. Oh. Therefore, we see two prakritis, para prakriti and apara prakriti. But all of them are controlled. None of them are the controller. And that is the difference between purusha and prakriti. Purusha means controller. And prakriti means control. Purusha means predominator. And prakriti means predominated. This is the difference. So Krishna does not fall from his position of predominator. Therefore, he is addressed as Ochuto. Srinaya Ruhar Madhye Rathasthapaya Me Ochuto. <clears throat> Another meaning of Ochuta, 
Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. And Arjuna knows that I am not controller. I am controlled. He is devotee. He knows his position. Therefore, uh, he is now con- trying to control Krishna. He is ordering Krishna. Senaya rubhar madde ratam sthapaya. My dear Krishna, he is not addressing as Krishna. Uh, now you place my chariot between the two parties. This is ordering. That means Arjuna becoming <coughs> controller and Krishna becoming control. That's the opposite. Therefore, Arjuna knows he is subordinate position and he is ordering to Krishna. So indirectly, he is begging to be excused. My dear Krishna, I cannot order it. Order must come from you. But because you promised to carry out my order, you wanted to become my chariot driver, therefore I am ordering. Therefore I am ordering. I am, no, I am not in position of ordering to you. And you promised to carry out my order, and I think you are uh, fixed up in your that promise, therefore I am asking you, Ochuko. You don't fall from your promise. This is the Senaya Ruhar Madhe Ratham Sthapaya Me Ochuko. What is the number of birds? Forty-eight. The next point is that Arjuna wanted to see with whom he had to fight. He had no desire to fight. That will be explained. He was fighting unwillingly. Unwillingly. Because he is a Vaishnava. Unnecessarily he does not want to kill. Although he is Kshatriya, it is his duty. Uh, whenever there is discrepancy, killing as representative of Krishna. Krishna has got two business. Puritrana and sadhana, vinasaya to duskita. He has got two businesses. Uh, one business is to give protection to the devotees, sadhu. Sadhu. Sadhu means devotee. Sadhu does not mean simply by changing dress, saffron color, and smoking biri. That is not sadhu. Uh, sadhu means devotee. Uh, one who is devotee, that is explained in many shastras, sadhava sadhu bhujana. Sadhu bhujana. Uh, Titikshava karunika. Suridam sarva bhutana ajato sattrava shanta sadhava sadhu bhujana. This is the qualification of sadhu. Uh, sadhu is titikshava. <coughs> Tolerates all kinds of miserable conditions. He is sadhu. Because this is a place of miserable conditions. A sadhu learns how to tolerate. Sadhu is never disturbed. Jasmin site guru nāpi dukkheno no vichālati. A sadhu who has got the shelter of Krishna, if he is placed in the severest type of dangerous condition, he is never disturbed. Just like Prahlad Maharaj. His father was putting him in so many dangerous conditions. Uh, 
Even he was supplied with poison. He knew that my father has given me poison to drink. All right, let me know. If Krishna likes, he will send me. I am now put into this dangerous position, I have to drink. A father is giving poison, who can check? And such a big, powerful Hiranyakasipu, uh, the mother cried, requested, she, 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 he forced the mother, realized, mother, give your son this poison. Uh, so she begged so much, but he was a rascal, demon, you know, he must be. So the mother knew, the son knew that the rascal father is giving this poison. What can he do? A small child. All right, let me drink. Guru Navi Dukhena Navi Chala. He is not hesitating. All right, if Krishna likes, I like. Uh, this is the position of sadhu. He is not disturbed. Titik Sabha. In all circumstances, he is tolerant. That is sadhu. Sadhu does not become disturbed. Titik Sabha. At the same time, Karunika. He is himself disturbed, but he is merciful to others. Just like Jesus Christ. He is being crucified, and he is still his merciful. God. These people do not know what they are doing. Please excuse them. Uh, this is Sadhu. Uh, he is personally being disturbed by the demands, but he still he is merciful to the general people. They are suffering for want of Krishna consciousness. So even up to the point of death, he is trying to please Krishna consciousness. Let the people be benefited. Ah, what is this material body? Even if I am killed, I am not killed. This body is killed. That's all. This is sadhu. Titik sabhav karunika. In one side he is tolerant and other side merciful. The material world, when one man is disturbed, he cannot do any beneficial work to any other. He is disturbed. I am very much disturbed. Don't talk with me. No, but sadhu still goes on benefiting the people in India. Titik sabha karun. And what kind of benefit? The so called rascals humanitarian work? No. Sridang Sarvabhutana. He is beneficial to all kinds of living entities. Not this rascal land. Ah. Daridra Narayan. Just like one rascal has manufactured this. Daridra Narayan. The poor man has become Narayan. And the goat Narayan is killed for their feeding. Not this kind of sadhu. Sri Dhamma Sarva Bhuta. A sadhu will not allow any kind of killing. See, in the Christian religion, it is first injunction is, Thou shalt not kill. If you want to become religious, they are simply killing. And still they are claiming Christian. What kind of Christian? Simply their business is killing. So it is very difficult to find out a Christian, although they are claiming I am Christian. It is very difficult because their business is killing. And Lord Jesus Christ ordered, first order is thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not covet. Who is calling? The sadhu is Sridang Sarvabhutana. Why he should allow animal killing? Huh? They are also living entities. But for their benefit, the so-called sadhu says the animal has no soul. What is this nonsense? Animal has no soul? Why? Why animal? Has, what is the difference between animal and man? 
Uh, what are the symptoms of possessing the soul? They are all equal. Uh, the man also eats. The animal also eats. The man also sleeps. The animal also sleeps. The man also has sex life. The animal also has sex life. The man also defends. The animal also defends. So where is the deficiency that you say the animal has no soul? Huh? Imperfect knowledge or uh, making adjustment for their own benefit. Huh? Now they are uh, making correction. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not murder. That means it will come to human being. But the actual commandment is thou shalt not kill. But these Christian people, they are making some uh, amendment. Thou shalt not murder. Because murder will apply to the killing of human being. But Lord Jesus Christ never said like that. Huh? Thou shalt not kill. It is applicable both for human being and for animal, or even for trees. Unnecessarily cannot kill. Uh, that is sadhu. Sri Dhamu Sarabhutana. Uh, don't kill my brother, but you can kill my neighbors. Uh, not like that. He is not sadhu. Sadhu is kind to all living entities. Oh. Krishna consciousness means to become kind to everyone. Therefore, we say uh, no meat eating. Meat eating means killing the animals. Killing the animals. Why? You shall kill animals. You have to take Krishna prasadam, patram puspam phalam tu yam jumi bhakta prajachati tadahang asnami. Krishna says, Krishna is God. He can eat everything. Everything. Krishna ate fire, you know. Uh, there was forest fire in Vrindavan. The, all the Cowards, boys, they become very much frightened. Krishna, yes, I am ready. He ate up all the fire. So for Krishna, he could eat anything he likes. He is God. But he still he recommends patram puspam phalam toyam jumi bhaktya prajitya. Why? Uh, because we have to take Krishna's prasadam. So therefore, he is recommending these things you can give me. Patram Pushpam Phalam. So that, uh, that is our food. Uh, we as devotees of Krishna, we are meant for eating the remnants of food stuff offered to Krishna. That is our. Jiva hmm? if you want to conquer the tongue, then you fix up your mind that. Uh, you shall not take anything which is not offered to Krishna. Then your tongue will be controlled. Tongue is the bitterest enemy of the living being. The tongue is dragging jiva. Uh, uh, kindly give me this uh, immediately. Kindly give me this wine yeah, immediately. Kindly give me this tea immediately. Can I give me this cigarette? Immediate. Can I give me this meat? Uh, why? Control. Krishna says, Patram Pushmam Phalam Tayam. So you have to take prasadam, eat Krishna prasadam. Then naturally the other things will be negative. This is the position. Sri Dham Sarvabhutana. So if all human being becomes vegetarian, not vegetarian, but eater of the Krishna's prasadam, all these liquor house and slaughter house and brothels will be closed. This is Krishna consciousness. We want to close this nonsense. Places of sinful life, uh, brothels, uh, illegitimate uh, sense gratification, sex relationship, prostitution. See, if we are uh, embarrassed with this sinful life, 
There is no possibility of becoming again ochuto. We remain chuto, fallen. We remain fallen. It is not so easy thing that I do everything whatever I like. Some rascals preach that. Oh, religion has nothing to do with your eating. You can eat anything you like. And still you become a religious man. It's all nonsense. Nobody can become a religious man <coughs> if he is attracted by sinful activities. That is not possible. You must stop sinful activities. That is first condition. Otherwise you cannot understand what they People, uh, perhaps per in this Krishna concept, except this Krishna concept, all the rascals, they do not know what is God. They have no clear conception of God because they are sinful. We can give the name, address, and everything of God. Clear conception, not vague idea. God may be like this, God may be like that. Why maybe? Here is God. Vinum kannantam aravinda dalayatakshaṁ varahāvatam samasitāṁ buddha-sandharāṁ kannatpa koti kamaniya visesa shobham govindam ādipurisam tamahaṁ bhajāṁ. Clear concept. The Shastra, Brahma Sangita, clear description of God. Vinum kannantam he is playing on flute. Uh, it is not that the uh, Muralidha, Shamasundar, Krishna has been imagined by some poet. No. It is described in the Shastra, the form of the Lord. He is uh, busy in playing flute. Venum Kannantam. Aravindadalayataksham, his eyes are just like petals of the uh, lotus flower. Venam kannantam aravinda varahavatamsa, there is a peacock feather on his head. Kandarpa kuti kamaniya visesa sobham, and he is so beautiful that his beauty can cut down. Thousands of cupid. Cupid is supposed to be the most beautiful in this material world. Kandarpa koti kamaniya visesa sobham govindam adipurusam tamam maja. Clear concept. This is the description of God in the Shastra. And when God came, Krishna came on this planet, the same description. He is playing on flute. He has got the feather, peacock feather. So this painting of Krishna is not an artist's imagination. It is exactly the form. So here is the form of the Lord. Here is the name of the Lord. Here is the activities of the Lord. This is clear conception. The sadhu knows what is God. Or sadhu cannot know. They are thinking. God must be like this, God must be maybe like this. He must be a very old man because Adi Purusam is the first living uh, in this age. So you cannot create God by imagination. That is not possible. God is God. Always. You have to know simply what is God. He is never a chuta. God never becomes fallen down from his original position. The original position is God describes Himself. Matta parataram nana. There is no more superior oh, authority than me. That is God. Uh, one, if He is controlled, how can we go? God. The supreme controller is God. The supreme controller is Krishna. Ishara parama Krishna. Ishara means control. And Parama means supreme. And who is that? Krishna. Krishna says also, Matta Paratanam Nanya. Kinchija Siddhananya. So he is Achyuta. He keeps his position. 
he never falls down. We are all fallen so. Because our position, our Ochuta position is ki to serve Krishna. Because we are part and parcel of Krishna. The same example, just like this finger is part and parcel of my body. Its business is to serve the body. That is the business. There is no other business. A finger can pick up a rasugulla and keep it here. The finger cannot eat. Uh, similarly, we cannot eat directly. That is our disease condition. Uh, we have to offer Krishna. When Krishna eats, if we eat that, then we become energized. Just like you rasugulla put into the mouth, when it goes to the stomach, the finger immediately begins to reddish. The finger enjoys. Not only the finger, the eyes enjoy, the leg enjoy, because the energy is distributed. Directly we cannot be energized by eating. We must eat Krishna's prasadam. This is principle. Jive sarupha nitya krishna das. So if we serve Krishna, that is our ochuta position. If you deny to serve Krishna, that is bhichyuta, fallen condition. Ochyuta and bhichyuta. So to become Krishna conscious means ochyuta gotra. Ochyuta gotra. Gotra, but as we do not know, gotra is the family uh, tradition. Uh, in, according to Vedic civilization, everybody has got gotra. Uh, gotra means of the same family. From the rishis, gotra, from the rishis. So we have to become ochuta gotra, again belonging to the family of Krishna. Now we are fallen, therefore we have forgotten that we belong to the family of Krishna. Uh, when we revive our consciousness, Krishna consciousness, uh, that I belong to the Krishna's family. Krishna is not alone. Ekam Bahushyama. He wants to enjoy. So we are family members of Krishna, not void. That is another aspect. Why Krishna should be alert? He is so powerful, he is so opulent. Have you got any experience that a powerful person, power, opulent person is alone? Where is that example? Any rich man, any powerful man, any king, any lord, oh, he has got so many associates. So how Krishna can be alone? Huh? Krishna is never alone. Therefore you will find always Krishna with the gopis. Krishna is the cowherd's boy. Krishna is Arjun. Krishna is never alone. Huh? So these are the condition of becoming Ochyuta. So. Arjuna knows all these things because he is a devotee. Therefore, particularly he is addressing Krishna. Srinaya Rubayan Madhya Ratham Sthapayam Ochyuta. That's all right. Thank you.